all new major event has awakened. Dragon Quest Monsters The Dark Prince Event First up some of the characters you'll meet Lane waste of villages Attacking innocents This I cannot abide Sir Percival A recruitable aid unit I really don't want to burden Saul with any more of my guilt. Elf Girl Rose, a recruitable S student. Now for some new big content. In Elf Girl and Friends, through various challenges to collect memory pieces, and earn rewards based on how many you found. Like certain amounts to earn amazing treasures, and something else you just can't miss out on. The Altar of Amalgamation. Clear event stages to earn monster bites. Use them to create both new monsters and other monster bites. For example, Tori Green Bite with a Slicicle Bite creates a Snowbird Bite. The Bite that Bites with a Great Keeper Bite, the Four Robbia. You can also create a Cloud Surfer. Or even a Gibby Nimbus. That's not all. You can even combine special mites for Dragon Quest's iconic arch feeds. Now, let's go over how you get arch feed bites. Remember, you can only create one arch feed using a mite like this. And once you combine that mite for a different arch feed bite, you can't ever get that old bite again. So be careful when you create. That you can do in part 3 the event. There you can redeem your brush free bite for the retrospective unit. This point I'll try here should help that. Each of these arch free bites are created with the help of these mystery bites too. You can get those by earning lots of those memory pieces Rose would really like. Climb up the ladder slab in here. Desire an arch feed by this that far away. <laughs> like for instance, if you want to create a Zoma, you'll need a Dragon Lord's true form bite that you only get once for those memory piece challenge rewards. And you also need only two mystery bites. And to combine that Archfiend's Bite with one of those Mystery Bites to create a Malroth Bite. Then you do the same thing with that Malroth Bite to create a Zoba Bite. Then just wait for Part 3 to use that Bite to unlock this mighty Archfiend. You said Soma Bite to create us the Rush Me Might, then you can't ever, ever get that Soma Bite back! It's all a very delicate process! All new large battle, 
Stormy the Conqueror's Keep! What are you not doing here? Don't tell me you ever thought of defeating me. The Supreme Master of Monster Kai, Randolpho the Tyrant. Face off Randolfo and the Quad Squad in a large battle. Assemble your team of eight to defeat this powerful band of enemies. Stay sharp though, Randolfo has dangerous attacks, like Overlord's Blast, Overlord's Blade, and Overlord's Thunder! Aim for high score record and earn both incredible treasures and armor! Prince of Etheria walks the path of revenge. Indeed, I am the Prince of Etheria, Sora! While I may be cursed to be unable to harm monsters, doesn't mean I'm not powerless. As a regular monster card, I'm to start the battle with a big speed of move boost, but me and my friends are we can take less damage from this and we'll breath attacks for a good while too! I've awakened! My princess wrath restores my elf to boost my spell, martial, and breath attacks, and my elf gets lower. But otherwise, if I really awaken, a gem slime reminds protection from the epic status bumps each turn. Yes, I will have all sorts of commands. Now, come on! I can sometimes paralyze my foes right on the spot. Go, Roche! Find me power! It is a major martial freeze damage to those in a straight line. Now, Tempest Storm! It is major who spread damage to all enemies in every effect. I even wield the power of an arch fiend. Now, Shadow Psycho Blast! It's a major sad spell that can ignore certain damage reducing effects too. Seems I'm ready to put my monster regular skills to the test. If you could scout me, that is. It's Sorrow's kid brother, Ludo! Proud sound of destruction! It's a sure hit partial frenzy of eight bottles of those clothes that helps you heal. Just notice more cans usual. Please put out your comments. I really want to hear that. 